Starting a new vlog. All right, I've been gone for so long, but it is time to be back on my roots and do like some vlogs because I just love doing it. Uh, let me get ready. It's not always easy when you come to Germany for one reason, to grow your business. By the way, you wanna say hello, Raha? Hey, nice, sorry. Let me tell you more about this, why I'm back with vlogging because it's gonna be a longer topic to discuss. So let's go to the office. By the way, one of the best burger restaurants in Ulm, for sure. The blue dream, a dream come true. Starting with the vlogs, it's very important for me because I always talked about this on my Insta stories. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram. If not, you should do so. I talk about this most of the time on my Insta stories where I talk about comfort zone. You never want to be stuck in your comfort zone. If you're stuck in your comfort zone, you're basically fucked. I hate this. I hate this. It's enough. When I came here to Germany, my goal was to become very quick established in this incredible city and I did all my best to make incredible projects and I'm working non-stop since then I feel I feel very blessed with all the opportunities that I got so far but I miss vlogging it's something that I that I really miss because it takes me out of this comfort zone it is not always easy in Germany sometimes it get very tricky when you want to make vlogs. It was so much easier to do it in New York because people were looking at you, just normal people doing something creative stuff. But here, they always look at you if you're an alien. And I basically always hated that. I always wanted to do incredible vlogs because when I look back in 10, 20, 30, 40 years, I can look back at these vlogs and say, you know what, I had an incredible life. I have to break that comfort zone. I want to do vlogs, so I have to do it no matter what is going on around myself. People will always look. It's not gonna go away yourself. I have to tell this to myself. So I have to start with vlogging again because I really miss it so much. I love this whole process of editing, filming and uploading it. And you, after this uploading, it feels incredible. Like when I look at my old vlogs, two years, three years or one year ago, it feels incredible. I remember that day when I filmed and edited and uploaded that vlog. Overall, I feel very blessed what I have. I did incredible office here. Um, everything looks incredible. We have, we have finalized our office. We're growing, we're doing incredible projects, but I have to move forward. I understand the first year in Germany was for me focus, 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 focus just on architecture. And we did great. We did incredible new projects. We have 30 projects now. We are growing the business. And I feel very happy and very lucky that I'm getting to this, um, to this level of profession. But I have to break this comfort zone of mine. My goal is to do three vlogs a week. Three vlogs. I have to do it. I want to convince myself that I have to do it. It's like going to the gym. When you go to the gym, you feel great. You hate yourself when you wake up in the morning and you don't want to go. But after you finish your workout, you feel so happy. And this is the same with vlogs. Doing architecture is for me a cake. I can sketch very easy. I have a vision. I shoot for it. And 99% the clients love it. So I never have to change it again. But I'm comfortable in that zone. 
but now I have to be get comfortable with vlogging. I have to get... Look at these people. Incredible. So basically what I'm saying, I'm back. There's so much going on when you're an architect and when you're actually doing so many projects, there's so much to talk about. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. I have to really work now because clients are always calling. Till next time, till tomorrow, till, till next time. Peace.